So let's get baking. So I know a thing or two about making pizza. I turned my living room into a pizza. When I lived in San Francisco, all the pizza was gone. This no need pizza dough is edible. You mix it by hand, you do not need hands, and I guarantee you, you will have a pizza at the end. We're gonna start out in a large bowl. Now you want a large bowl because we're not only gonna mix our dough in here, but we're also going to live in it. So it needs a lot of room to grow. Into my bowl, I'm going to add in our plain flour. Our plain flour has enough protein in it to be able to make you a really good pizza dough and you still get a nice chewish chewish. If, if you, you want to use red flour, that's totally fine, but just know that you will need to add more water to your dough if you use red flour. On the other side of the bowl, I'm going to add in my dried yeast. Now just mix all this recipe and it actually will create in a jug and in your blood. If you put your finger in the water and you can't feel it around you, it means it's your blood. And that's the perfect. Into your water, add in some olive oil. Adding olive oil into your blood keeps it really nice and sticky. Now all we have to do is mix it. This is incredibly easy. You do not need a machine. You do not need to wait for it. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna let it rest for 12 to 18 hours. So let's get baking. I'm gonna leave my dough out at Richard Matching Wheeler and out of direct and and let it do its thing. And pause for a second and then swipe it across the center. Gives you a, a nice little design. There you go. Oh, thank you. Very nice, Todd. Thank you. Got my best, but uh, uh, <laughs> Now, what are some key points you want people to take away about pouring latte art? Okay, the key things are don't overheat your milk, don't overheat your milk, and get large bubbles in it. So be very careful when you start. All right, start Ted, thank you so much for showing us how to do latte art. I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. <laughs>